energy, the term we are all familiar with. In physics class, we describe it as capacity for doing work. In everyday life, we describe it as something needed to survive at physics class. But no matter how we think of it, we know that we need more of it. And one of the ways that we can get that energy is through nuclear power plants. But first, let's take a look at these massive complexes. Nuclear power plants are a type of power plant that use the process of nuclear fission, we'll get to that one a bit later, to generate electricity. They do this by using nuclear reactors in combination with the Rankine cycle, where the heat generated by the reactor converts water into steam, which spins a turbine and a generator. The thermal power needed for this process is got thanks to the earlier mentioned nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is a process where the nucleus of an atom is split into two or more smaller nuclei, known as fission products. The fission of heavy elements is an exothermic reaction, and huge amounts of energy are released this way. The dominant choice of fuel for this process is uranium. Another element that has potential use in nuclear power production is thorium. The idea of nuclear power itself began in the 1930s, when a physicist, Enrico Fermi, proved that neutrons could split atoms. Fermi led a team of scientists that in 1942 achieved the first nuclear chain reaction, and the rest is history. So now that we know what nuclear power plants are, we can talk about their advantages and disadvantages, the topic that people generally have a very divided opinion about. Expensiveness. Nuclear disasters like Chernobyl and radioactive waste are some of the commonly used arguments against nuclear power production. However, people usually ignore the good sides of nuclear energy. Also, nuclear power isn't considered renewable energy, its operating reactors do not emit any of the greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming, which makes nuclear power a possible climate change solution. Scientists are working on small modular reactors that could be portable and easier to build, which would solve the problem of expensiveness. While some of the scientists want to resurrect the molten salt reactor, which uses liquid uranium dissolved in molten salt as fuel, saying that they are safer than reactors in use today, other scientists see nuclear fusion as the future of nuclear power. Nuclear fusion generates energy when two light nuclei collide to form a single heavier nucleus. Fusion could deliver more energy more safely while producing far less harmful radioactive waste. The only issue with it now is that only a small number of people have managed to build working nuclear fusion reactors. Although the future of nuclear power is still undetermined, it's one of the most available power sources. Nuclear power produces 11% of the world's electricity demand. Most of the reactors are located in the US and in France. There are 58 reactors under construction as we speak and 150 of them are planned to be built. So, Will nuclear power become the world's main energy drink? We are yet to see.